Hi everyone. Today we have an incredible guest on the show. She's a young entrepreneur. She has used bullying and changed her whole life around. Please welcome Athena from Miss Athena's Closet. Hello, Athena. Hi, thank you for having me. Thanks You're having welcome. Me How are you today? Good, very good, thank you. Excellent. So please explain to us, Athena, a little bit about your story. Okay, um, so from a young age, I was always doing modelling. I was a baby model and I'd gone from various modelling agencies till around 14, 15, was signed up to a lot of labels and doing a lot of photo shoots. Um, during that time, I was very familiar with constantly being judged and whatnot, um, you know, you're not tall enough, you don't have a particular look we're looking for, you know, I was very used to scrutiny from a very young age, so I, I was starting to learn to have a tough skin. Um, as I got older, I just wanted to embrace my own style, and I've always dressed different, I've always kind of liked my big bling and different outfits, so I thought... <laughs> Why not sell it to other women around so the world? So you practically really, you knew you had a uniqueness within you. That's you right. to express it to yes. the world. But with that comes also that criticism, the bullying yes. and everything else. How did you cope with all that? Yeah, um, I think it's important to have a supportive network, uh, both professionally and personally. Um, I guess it's difficult, you know, it's not easy waking up one morning and seeing your photos being shared on social media or people attacking you or attacking your business for whatever reason it may be. Um, but I think it's staying true to yourself and having those networks that remind you that it's only an opinion, it's not, it's not a fact about who you are and you're going to have those naysayers, you're going to have those people that will say no to you or judge you or criticise you. You have to just look beyond that. Mm. So with that came though, like weight gain too. Like you had put on a lot of weight too yes. just to protect yourself yeah. from all the criticism. Yeah. So how did you overcome that? Okay, well that's right. Being in the industry, um, you know, there was late nights and, and there was some criticism and some mm -hmm. lashback. I mean, within saying that, wonderful customers and, and great support. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them, but there was a hard time. Um, I designed and I've now retail a curvy line. So I've used the, the weight gain and, and knowing how it feels to be a bit bigger and a bit curvier for the Australian woman oh, to isn't enjoy. That amazing? <laughs> So, so really, you cater for all sizes, which is good. I do. I Learn do. to embrace and love ourselves for whatever size That's we exactly are. That's exactly right. And to have an actually a young, inspiration person like you from Miss Athena's Closet, the line, you. yeah. you're putting a little bit of your own personal little touches in there and yeah. trending it up That's for us all. That's right. Like, you know, you go to the shops and you can't fit into something or, you know, ladies, you know, with, with larger assets. Yes. <laughs> can't get into anything. And I was just yeah. like, you know, I, I've been there. I, like you said, the way again, I've gone through that. And I thought, well, why not create a line where even the curvier figure can also wear the exact same clothes that the petite girls wear as well? Oh, that's amazing. So where do you Thank see, you. like, your future for Miss Athena's Closet? Oh, that's an amazing that's question. Exciting. It's very exciting. Um, I see us growing as a label and as a brand and the amazing customer support we've been getting. Um, definitely continuing doing my charity work and my youth work as well away from the business as okay. an individual. So that's another thing you do. Please tell us about it. Okay. Um, so prior to getting into fashion, I, I was an early childhood educator, so I worked with children that had additional needs and um, I was always in, in community settings. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to lose that whilst being in fashion. I wanted to keep that community feel and that community sense. So um, I, I had a very dear friend of mine, Robbie Merritt, contact me and say, do you want to be an advocate for global global goals and, and in the area of education and bringing awareness for social media bullying? Oh, excellent. So, so that's, that's down your line. That's fantastic. It is. How, how is that? Yeah, and I know how it feels like to be scrutinised online and to have, you know, have fake accounts of you or, or have your photos shared or or what not, so I really want to go out there and educate young women on how to cope when things that's like that happen. Thing. Thank well, that's you. amazing because it's through your life experiences that you can be able to actually help others with it. So if you had a message to give out to all the viewers today, what would that message be? Um, my message would be stay true to yourself. Um, you know, you're going to have people that are going to disagree with you or not accept you, but as long as you accept yourself, and you stay true to your dreams, they, they can happen. They really can. Thank you, Athena, for being on the thank show today. Thank you for today. having me. And thank you for inspiring others out there. Thank you so much. You're an much. amazing woman. Thank, thank you, you, Athena. Thank you. That's all we have time for. So signing off for now from the talk show angel at Virgos TV. TV.